this lecture we are going to solve a problem on Porter governor for this given problem we need to draw only one free body diagram because here only the equilibrium speed of the governor will be given but the arms are are different in length because there is a unsymmetric uh, triangle in the free body diagram so we need to find out uh, q1 q2 value which means uh, q not equal to 1 so we need to find q1 q2 and h value not h1 and h2 since the equilibrium speed is only given we have to find out only h value using that h value we need to find the equilibrium speed of the governor so this is one of the parameter we need to find for this problem after finding n there is one more parameter we need to find here the effect of friction acting on uh, uh, Porter governor will be given so by considering the effect of friction we need to find out the maximum speed of the governor and minimum speed of the governor n1 f and n2 f then using n1 f and n2 f finally we have to find out the range of speed of governor with effect of friction the arms of the Porter governor are 300 mm long the upper arm are pivoted on axis of rotation so arms are 300 mm long both upper and lower arm then pivoted on axis of rotation so there is a possibility for q equal to 1 but what happened next the lower arm are attached to a sleeve at a distance of 40 mm from the axis of rotation so this is where we have a problem so let us look at the problem here here the lower arm attached at a distance of 40 mm from the axis of rotation because of this offset there is an unsymmetric in two triangles so because of this unsymmetric q not equal to 1 so we need to find q1 and q2 the mass of the load on the sleeve is 70 kg so there is a dead weight of 70 kg acting at this point so capital M equal to 70 kg and mass of the fly ball each ball is 10 kg here the mass of this ball 10 kg we need to find out determine the equilibrium speed so they are not asking about uh, maximum speed or minimum speed equilibrium speed equilibrium speed means capital N the radius of rotation of the ball is 200 mm so this is for equilibrium speed which means r equal to 2.2 meter so this is not r1 or r2 just uh, average uh, radius of rotation mean radius of rotation so we can take it as 0.2 meter so this is uh, subdivision 1 whereas in subdivision 2 this is subdivision 1 whereas in subdivision 2 we have to find out if the friction is equal to a load of this value what will be the range of speed so this is subdivision 2 so we need to find out range of speed by considering the effect of friction then we have to find out n1 and n2 by considering the effect of friction so these are the parameter we have to find for this problem here you have to draw only one free body diagram there is no need to draw two free body diagram this is very important because they are asking you to find out equilibrium speed so you don't need to worry about two free body diagram so only one free body diagram enough instead of h1 you can make it as h so this is alpha bf and this is bg and this is df and this is hg again hypotenuse value 300 so let's find uh, h value first so what is the value of h h equal to square root of hypotenuse value squared minus opposite side squared so hypotenuse value 0.3 squared minus uh, opposite side 0.2 squared so this is a radius of rotation 200 mm we can take it as 0.2 meter so you will get 0 0.224 meter so this is h value next we need to find bf value bf equal to pg minus fg so fg given 40 mm 0 0.04 meter 
pg 0.2 meter so 0.2 meter minus 0 0.04 0 0.160 meter so this is b f point once uh, point one six meter so next I have to find out uh, df so df equal to hypotenuse value quite square root of point three squared minus point uh, bf value point one six squared so you will get point two five four so this is a value of bf this is 0.254 okay adjacent side of beta now we can find q1 and q2 okay so tan alpha first we will find tan what is uh, uh, tan alpha tan alpha equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side opposite side pg that is 0.2 meter here then adjacent side h h value 0.224 so here i have h value so you will get 0.893 then tan beta equal to opposite side so this is an opposite side bf 0.16 meter divided by df so df value 0.254 so you will get this value then what is q1 so q1 equal to actually this is not q1 you can take it as just q okay because there is no n1 n2 so there is no q1 q2 just q alone nf so tan beta divided by tan alpha so tan beta this value divided by this value you will get 0 0.705 so now we got q value we can apply this q value on as uh, equilibrium speed formula to find out n so now i'm going to solve find the answer for subdivision one so n squared equal to m plus m by 2 1 plus q divided by m into 895 divided by h so this is a standard formula for speed so there is no need of mention n1 n2 since it is n here i am including h so small m value 10 capital m value 70 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.705 divided by h value into 895 over 224 so you will get 27,840 that is n squared value when you take square root for this value you will get n equal to 167 rpm so this is the answer for subdivision 1 equilibrium speed of the governor now subdivision 2 where we have to consider the effect of friction so same formula there is no need to draw another free body diagram the same free body diagram so n1 squared equal to mg same formula i am including one term minus f why minus f because n1 n1 means minimum speed so minimum speed means i have to include minus maximum means they should be plus okay again force newton mass kg so we can uh, both are different unit so i need to convert any one to another uh, unit so i am converting mass into newton so multiply this with mg into mg minus f divided by 2 just only to these two term add g multiply g again here you will get g so mg means newton so newton this is also newton this is also newton so you will get only value in newton and this is also newton so mg by minus f over 2 into 1 plus q divided by mg into 895 by h now apply all the parameters small m 10 g 9.81 capital m 70 g 9.81 again f force 20 divided by 2 1 plus 0 0.705 that is a q value then 895 divided by h when you reduce all these terms you will get 27144 when you take square root for this value you will get 164.8 rpm so this is n similarly you have to find out n2 so what is the difference between n1 and n2 only this term instead of minus you have to add make it as 
plus why it is plus because we are calculating maximum speed maximum speed we have to consider the positive effect of friction whereas for minimum speed this should be a negative effect so there is no need to memorize this formula you can easily remember this formula but in the examination while solving this problem you you may change the sign then the entire thing goes wrong so you just apply all those parameters here and you will get 169 rpm so this is the final value of n2 so what we need to find actually we need to find a range of speed that is del n so del n equal to 116 n2 minus n1 169 rpm minus 164.8 rpm you will get 4.2 rpm so this is the range of speed of governor by considering the effect of friction don't forget to post your questions in the command box you can also mention the topics which you expect from my channel subscribe my channel and like my video to support my video lecture